And now what we're going to do is go over how to change the image size to prepare for printing a file in Photoshop. And so after you've cropped and done all of your adjustments and you're ready to prepare the image to print, what I'd like you to do is go to image, image size. The, op, uh, the shortcut key is command option I. And you'll get this little dialog box right here. This dialog box has a number of fields. The ones that we're concerned with are width, height, and resolution. We want to make sure that the three check boxes are checked. And then the last thing that we'll do is actually adjust one of these five options. You may have, if you're working on CS4, have only four options there. I forget. But there's only two that we're actually concerned with, so it doesn't matter how many you actually have. The first fields that we're concerned with are width and height. Now, for our printing purposes, I want you to choose the longer of the two. It doesn't matter which of the two is longer. If you have a vertical orientation, as this photo is, your height will be longer than your width. But if you have a horizontal orientation on your image, the width will be longer. And it doesn't matter which one it is. Choose the longer of the two and set it to 8 inches. The next thing you're going to do is go down here and choose resolution 300. The final step is to look up at the pixel dimensions. Notice what it was. It was 15.2. It's now 15.4, which means we are going from a smaller size to a larger size. Now, it's not a significantly larger size, but it is larger. And so we're going to go down here. The final step is to go bicubic smoother because it says best for enlargement. We look at these pixel dimensions. It was 15.2. It's now 15.4. And we choose bicubic smoother, best for enlargement. If we were changing this, let's say, to 6 inches, it was 15.2. Now it's 8.64. We would choose bicubic sharper, best for reduction. In this case, though, we're going to actually go to 8 inches by 7 point whatever. It doesn't matter. We're going to let that other smaller figure fall wherever it lays after we change the longer dimension to 8 and the resolution of 300 by cubic smoother best for enlargement okay now on the screen it only increased by a tiny tiny amount but as far as the computer is concerned we've done quite a bit and when we go to print that's going to make a big difference so that's what I want you to do for sizing